Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl High Priestess Ma. Back on more tea, back on another read, and we're gonna go right in and save our space and see what's going on for our fire family. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Okay. Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay. Um, so just keep in mind, family. Um, I am not only a um, tarot reader but I'm also a psychic okay and I just want to I want you guys to keep in mind that the vi the videos may definitely be future based okay also guys from now on the way I'm going to do my personal individual sign like the individual signs the way I'm doing those now is I'm going to do those uh, one by one in one video, okay? So we're going to do individually Sagittarius, individually Aries, individually Leo, okay? Just to give you guys a little bit more in-depth, uh, a little bit more of an in-depth reading, okay? But let's go right in and pray and get started. Higher power, archangels, ancestors, guys, and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my fire family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity. Uh, please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, always and forever. Higher power, archangels, ancestors, gods, goddesses of the divine white light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation. Guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Somebody could be, it's funny how I just did a cancer reading, okay? Because I was thinking as I was doing my prayer that um, I'm going to go start with Sagittarius reading. And I'm telling you, right after I said that, it's like, it, somebody could be somebody could be attacking somebody's crown chakra is all I'm going to say, okay? Somebody could definitely be um attacking somebody's crown chakra to make them lose their train of thought okay you could definitely be dealing with a cancer here or you have cancer in your chart water in your chart and that's funny how all those fell out but can we get one or two please here high power one or two we got teaching and i just seen teaching so i i, I feel like you're you're a, a a teacher you're inspiration oh, okay you could be an inspirational leader, a motivator of some sort. You're teaching. You're reaching out to the community in some kind of way. Or this is happening to you. Somebody's reaching out to you, teaching you something about some type of knowledge here, something you need to know. Um, I'm also hearing something about a resort. And I'm also hearing stolen plane tickets. Uh, could resonate with somebody here. Okay, we got marriage coming out. So something significant about your significant other here, Sagittarius. House, okay. I'm here. A house is not a home. So I'm getting like somebody is feeling like they could have a house. They could have everything that they need or they want, but it's not complete here. Something's incomplete. And I'm also getting, you know exactly what this is, Sagittarius. There's some type of incomplete cycle in your life. Okay, where you feel like you need to wrap something up or you need to um, take care of something. You need to kind of go after something. It's giving me like a ten of swords in reverse. Like there could have even been an ending, a harsh ending, or a brutal betrayal here. We got the omens, okay? And that definitely came out for Cancer's read as well. So pay attention to the signs of synchronicity. Something is familiar here. You can also be having deja vu about a home in a home or a marriage, or some type of teaching or inspiration, okay? Maybe this is your, de part of your destiny is to teach. I'm here, each one, teach one, teaching somebody or teaching others, okay? You could be a teacher, okay? You could be an advisor, a spiritual advisor, okay? I'm also getting, like, you've, um, you've already, like, you probably don't know this, but this is what I'm getting, Gemini. Um, oh, Gemini. See, it's do it's, this shit is happening again. This got to be somebody who, uh, you got Gemini in your chart or you are dealing with a Gemini. But I feel like you got Gemini and Cancer in your chart, okay? Sagittarius, you may need to go look at your birth chart, okay? Because it's it's that, that because Gemini was coming out in that Cancer's read. And now it's like Cancer and Gemini is all over this read here. 
for you, Sagittarius. So definitely take it however it resonates. But I'm getting like you could have definitely had down goals or dreams about being in a house, being in a marriage, doing some type of teaching here. Um, and you probably didn't know what this was, okay? You probably didn't know what you were dreaming about. But this is exactly is what's going on here. You're meant to do this, okay? This is your destiny here. Or this is somebody's destiny that's teaching you something. Maybe this is teaching you something about a marriage or a house, okay? Let's see, what is this? Yep, seven of wands. So somebody is learning how to protect themselves. That's what that is. Somebody could definitely be teaching you this, yeah? Are you a high priestess here? Are you learning from a high priestess? Are you protecting yourself from a high priestess? That's so significant because I'm telling y'all, the way I was doing my prayer and when I when I when I thought like immediately thought of the sign Sagittarius, whoop, I'm like, yeah, no, nah, somebody playing on somebody's crown chakra, okay? Yeah, somebody's playing on somebody's crown chakra, and I feel like this is gonna be a teachable moment for you as well, cause somebody tried to make sure that you couldn't move forward. They also spending sending monitoring spirits towards you or towards whoever that's teaching you. In order to spy on you, inspire what I mean, um, spy on what type of knowledge that you are in taking or learning. They're trying to learn or see what is your next move here. Somebody wants to attack you in your sleep. Okay, somebody wants to hold up your life. They want to stop you from doing something or regret something. And yes, dude, definitely please go check out that that cancer's reading. Okay, because that's very significant. Not only did my mic stop in that read. Okay, but um, but the nine of swords came out too, and I was saying like somebody was having some type of dream that was um, scaring them, you know, like from moving forward or some type of giving and receiving. I feel like that is significant here. So you guys are needed to protect your energy. Somebody out here is doing weird shit. Okay, let me let me give me some let me sage my shit. We got a queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. Let me get my, let me get my sage. Hold on. I don't got time. You know, a lot of times they be trying to attack readers that just be letting motherfuckers know, like, what's going on out here, you know, and it's part of your, and I feel like you could be somebody where you could have definitely went through something and you started teaching, okay, or this is what you're destined to do. You're destined to teach people or help people. Okay, in a way that somebody has helped you defend yourself or is helping you to defend yourself. This is part of your divine purpose. Okay, but you know what? They don't like that. They be mad at that shit because why? It's, it's recruitment, but not recruitment the way they feel like it should be. Okay, this is pushing people into their divine purpose here. Stuff being illuminated and helping each other one by one about what is going on in the real, what is really the fuck out here going on with motherfucker doing all this magic and shit, okay, excuse my language, but yeah, no, for real, like, I probably wanted people to step into their purpose, and you got motherfuckers behind the scenes erasing memories and doing weird shit, I'm telling you, that definitely came out, and that cancer read, like, somebody here was trying to stop somebody, okay, I ain't gonna tell you too much, y'all just go check out that cancer read, but let's get on in and get my sage together, because we got to sage this energy out. And it's almost like my sage don't even want to light. I remember when I first got into tarot, my sage would not stay lit. Like, now, it'll stay lit for a little bit. But when I say, y'all, it wouldn't even stay. Like, as soon as I would set it back down, it would go right out. I'm like, dude. <laughs> okay, it's like, oh, uh, uh, but anyway, let's go and get in this. So, yeah, man, what is this marriage here? For my Sagittarius. I'm hearing my beautiful Sagittarius. Okay. Fire, passion, energy. Oh, it fell on the floor. That's something somebody don't want you to know. We got the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. Let's go around here and get this. So there could be some type of apology somebody wants to give you or um, want you to acknowledge. Excuse me, family. Oh, coming from a king of pentacles, a king of pentacles wants to uh, wants to apologize to you, okay? This king of pentacles could want some type of marriage or commitment, stable. Um, I'm hearing endless, endless shrimp. So somebody want to take somebody somewhere with some seafood. Somebody like seafood. 
I'm hearing all bad bitches eat seafood. Okay, so you somebody, but that's crazy because I did not just say my beautiful Sagittarius. Somebody is, they said, oh, they like my beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius. <laughs> that's beautiful. Like somebody is like mesmerized by you, like, oh, Sagittarius. <laughs> It's cute. It's almost giving like high school, junior high, like high school, middle school, junior high energy, like real cutesy shit. Like somebody could definitely be wanting to be in that type of energy. Like I'll wait for you by your locker type of shit. <laughs> but you know, I feel like it's going to be the real world, but you might find like, if you get into a relationship with this person, you might, you know, find things to be a little bit different like this ain't gonna be your usual in, in relationship you ever seen like old people doing real cute stuff like cute stuff they used to do when they were teenagers and stuff like that like that is so cute like going to the movies or going to carnivals and buying big teddy bears or taking pictures in the picture booth or you know just something real you know like real cutesy um i'm also getting like I'm also getting like, you know, just something like, you know, I'm getting like this, this youthful energy. You guys are full of youth here, whether you're older or whatever this is here. There's a lot of youth and love here. I feel like no matter how old your age or how old you might, you know, because you could definitely be young now. But when you get up in that age, it's still going to be very vibrant. Like it's going to be very youthful energy. Like you guys might play fight a lot. Or do charge. I'm getting like water gun fights, all kinds of like stuff. Like yo, <laughs> like I'm getting that type of energy. Like you guys, like when you go and be with the kids, you guys are gonna be doing like kids dates and things like that. But you guys are gonna be having more fun than the kids, probably. And just real cutesy energy, yeah. Celebration here. Okay, moving into moving into calm waters. But I'm also hearing like rivalry and temptation. So this this king of pentacles here could definitely want to want to apologize about some type of competition here, being tempted. Okay. Or this is you, Sagittarius. You want to apologize to somebody here. I keep getting being led by somebody's footsteps though. It's okay. I'm getting that it's a TikTok that I've seen, and it's like literally, you know, a man or a woman doing the steps, and then a partner, which is a man or a woman, whatever, doing the steps behind them. I'm getting like somebody wants you to follow in their steps, or you're needing to follow in somebody's steps, or this is how you feel. You want to. Maybe you don't know. Okay. Or maybe your person don't know. Maybe somebody's not so clear. They know what they want, but they don't know how to do it. Or how exactly to go after something, okay? Um, yeah, somebody could be in a little bit of a he in, in, in a little bit of hesitation because they don't know exactly how to approach something. Somebody could definitely be dealing with a Taurus here uh, with the King of Pentacles energy. If not, this is you. You have Taurus in your chart. But we got death here. Yeah, there was an ending here. I'm also hearing congratulations. Okay. So this could have been an ending to a relationship and a beginning to a new one. So maybe somebody wants to apologize for ending out their own, um, ending or fucking up their own relationship, okay? Because you guys could have definitely been in a relationship and... But that's, that makes a lot of sense with that apologizing for um, the rivalry and temptation here, okay? And the endings, okay? But this person, are you, definitely caused your own um, ending here. I feel like you have nobody to blame but yourself, really, with the moon, okay? It's like you, you have no choice but to sit back and face that, okay? You can't look to nobody else and blame nobody else. It's all on you here. There's a lot of stuff hidden. Let me see. What is this moon here? The three of wands. So the three of wands is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like maybe you don't know here. Maybe this is unknown to you. 
Maybe this is unknown to you what the future will bring. Consistency. Okay. Oh, or maybe you don't know if something will last. I'm here, make it last. Make it last forever. Maybe somebody's not sure that something will last, okay? But I'm getting like this will. This will be a love of a lifetime here, Sagittarius. I'm here and enjoy, enjoy. You got the three of swords and celebrating. Yeah. So I feel like this was definitely heartbreaking for you or this was heartbreaking for your person to end something out, okay? But it's bringing a lot of balance here. You coming out of your own reading, Sagittarius, this brought out a lot of balance for you ending whatever this is out because it's something that somebody needed to go through or see things um, in a different point of view here about a marriage or about this commitment. It's almost as if, like, this person realized this after they had fucked up. And sometimes it just happened that way. I mean, it's not fair, but sometimes it really happened that way. Like, somebody don't, you know, they don't realize what they have or how good it was until it's gone. And so this is somebody who definitely wants to apologize by that. But with this death here, this was like, this was like a big deal. Ooh, I did not want to see that. Oh, this was definitely a big deal. I'm, I'm also hearing I get more head than a big deal. So... This could definitely be something sexual based that somebody was getting, you know, I was getting some head, getting, getting some head, but there's a death here. Oh, this could, oh, this could just, yeah, ending out this two of cups. Oh, for some, for some of y'all, they like your head game, okay? And they, they, it was hard for them. Yeah, queen of, queen of wands, they like your head game, okay? Um, and then that's also Leo energy, and we also got Pisces energy too. So I, I'm getting like somebody. I'm also hearing Capricorn energy as well. But somebody here, they definitely like your head game, or they like something that you do. But they could also like getting head in general. But I feel like they liked it what you had. But it's one of those things like it, back to the temptation. Okay, it's one of those things like oh well, why I have the cow and I buy. Why buy the milk when I can have a cow for free? So it's like, why why settle down for one person giving me some good head when I can go out and get head for multiple people? Now, they might not have exact that head game, that swallow dollar like you did, but I'm getting like, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting like this person chose quantity. They chose quali uh, quantity over quality, okay? They felt like it was more. This could be somebody who has a high sex drive as well, though. Very lustful energy. Like, they had, they could have a high sex drive now, but they had very lustful, I'm getting, like, a sex addiction, okay? Like, it's different when you have a high, uh, a high sex drive and you have um, just that lustful, dirty, you know, that's that, that's that shit where you have sex with somebody or you get some hair or some oral sex or from something from somebody and you feel nothing afterwards and five minutes later you back horny. And it's like it caused you to go have sex with somebody again. That's a sex addiction. That's different here. Versus like a high sex drive with meaning like somebody is, they, they are, I would say that is, they're, they're, they attract fast. So like, it's like, Somebody could, like, you You could attract your person fast, but it's, like, not an addiction. It's just they they have that stamina, man or woman here. They shit get up. You know what I'm saying? They be ready, and they go for a long time is what I'm getting. What else here? Yeah, they was, they made, yeah, they had a bad, they, they couldn't make this bad decision. I mean, well. They did make this damn bad decision, but I was getting like they couldn't make. Um, it was a, a, it was they were blinded here. They were blinded by the options with the two of swords here. They didn't know what to do. For some of you guys, they wanted to have you and somebody else. Okay, they wanted to have you and somebody else, and for some of y'all, they did. Okay, behind the scenes, that could also be what that moon is. Yeah, toxic. I just seen the um, devil card. They were juggling. Somebody here was juggling. 
um, behind the scenes, unbeknownst to you. Yeah, no matter how long y'all talked or together, this person was juggling. And they were spiteful about this shit, too. Yeah, this was foolish. This was a foolish leap of faith here. And not only that, but they're facing judgment literally at this very motherfucking moment because they want to apologize. And they on their hands and knees kissing your ass, Sagittarius. Mm. What is house? Six of Cups. So this is definitely past. Something could have happened in the past here. Um, when you were a child, something was given to you by an elder or a person. Um, as a child here, this caused a lot of change. Now, I feel like whether this, uh, you could just be finding out about this, at, you know, as an adult that this was given to you because it's coming out in the Six of Cups, meaning that it happened already. But I'm getting like something could be significant or maybe somebody gave something to a child. But with the Six of Cups, this could be your person. Maybe you gave it to your person as a child here. But there's a tower moment here causing a lot of change here. I'm hearing a fall from grace. Somebody's having a fall from grace because they withheld some type of information. Somebody could be two-toned as well. We got a gift here. Yeah, nine of cups. This was a gift. Somebody gave somebody a gift to change their life. Um to make something better of their life. They could have also For some of y'all, somebody going to buy you a house? Okay. For some of y'all, your ex, now if this is if this is you have an ex person here, that could damn show be this king of pentacles trying to apologize about something because we got the knight of cups that's being flirtatious that's being flirt noel is see just by the way okay yeah no but with the page of cups here that is definitely being romantic flirtatious that's even giving a cup look at that Okay, this could definitely be an apology. Okay, that's for some of y'all if y'all dealing with an ex here, but the Nine of Cups is a gift. Okay, somebody want to give you a house. Somebody going to buy you a house? God damn, somebody going to buy you a house. Look at that, Wheel of Fortune, Destiny. This is good luck here. Page of one. Somebody is thinking about this. Like, they probably haven't did this already, but they're definitely thinking about this with the Page of Wands. They want to say something, or maybe they've already bought you a house. For some of you guys, there could have been a house that was placed in your name, okay? And this could also be your person. There was a house that was placed in your name, or somebody gave somebody a house. There was a gift of a house here. This could be by um, an older person. Yeah. Like whether they gave you or your person a house as a child. Um, or this person, has re they, they're going to receive some type of money. And they're going to buy you a house to apologize. For some of you guys, your your living situation could be very complicated. Like, whether it's the housing, whether it's something going on, you know, in the house, whether it's the landlord, the neighbors, whatever this is, it could also be, like, doppelgangers, whatever it may resonate with you. Somebody feels like this will help you. Because by me saying this is a part of your destiny, it's, it's something about this house helping you in some kind of way. Oh my word! Look at that! Oh my girl! Look at this! And then look at the bottom of the deck. Hold on, I'm gonna show. Look at this! We got the page of wands we seen already, right? They curious, cause why? They see you as the empress. They see you as the empress, but not only that, they want to marry you. And make you this queen of pentacles. And sit you in this high honor. They want to buy this house and y'all live together. 
and be happy ever after. They want to come talk. Ooh, they want to come talk. Look at this. Look, 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 look at this. Look what's peeking out. The lovers. Gemini energy. Mm, shit, somebody having dreams about it too. I don't know if they having dreams about y'all being in this house. Um, or you're having dreams about a house. Okay? I was getting that. Like, somebody could be having dreams and stuff. Man, go check out that cancer read, okay? But, wow, look, giving and receiving. Okay, this is nice. Okay, Jim, um, look, I'm about to say Gemini again. Okay, Sagittarius family, but, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. All right, Chuna. So, let's see, anything else? For my Sagittarius family. Anything else for my family? Dang, I don't know why I feel like tomorrow's going to be Monday. I feel like the time is being sped up. Or this is somebody who's rushing time. It could be countdown days. Look, Queen of Swords. Oh, maybe this is you. <laughs> Hi, Priestess. Maybe this is you. Maybe you like, when? When somebody finna buy me a house? When? When? Like, when? Like, when is all this is supposed to happen? I feel like you have been dreaming or you've been, you know, feeling this, okay? Or you've been, if you're on the other side, then you've been wanting to do this. You could definitely be having dreams, too. And that's why, probably where you got an idea from. You probably had a dream about you being in marriage, okay? Being in a house. And you like, well, I wonder if I buy them a damn house. What is help them? Because for some of y'all, like, this person's trying to see where they can help you in any kind of shape or form. And they feel like, I'm hearing, um, hey, take me away. Maybe we can move on the other side of town. Hey, baby, I was thinking, wait, what did he say? I was feeling you, but I heard I was, th I'm heard I was thinking about you. Okay. Whoa, Sagittarius. I mean, I was getting a lot of fire passion too, though, like sexual energy as well. I haven't did a sexual reading for you guys in a while. I definitely need to um do that for you guys because I'm definitely getting a little bit of that. Somebody definitely finds you very attractive. Okay. But that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl, High Priestess Ma. And I would definitely catch you guys in the next one. Send in love and light. Um, if the video helped you in any kind of way, definitely hit that like button. Definitely hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. And I will definitely got, catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity, family. Mwah. Bye. Okay. Hey, Aries family. Welcome to my channel. She got high priestess Amar. We're going to jump right in and do our prayer, and then we're going to get started. High power, archangels, ancestors, gods, and gods of the divine white light. Please protect me and my areas as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, always and forever. High power, archangels, ancestors of the divine white light, showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings and lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, high, um, delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Give me that booty. Give me that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So let's go right in with it. Let's see what's going on. Hold on. I gotta wipe my thing. Okay. Let's see what's going on for my Aries family at this time. What is the energy for my Aries? Okay. Tell her I said it's your turn. We got healing energy and we got nice and, well, we got slow and steady. But I keep hearing nice and slow. Nice, nice, and so 
So taking something nice and slow, healing your energy at this time, Aries, okay? I'm getting like you could definitely be going into your north, north node at this time, Aries. So I feel like it's very essential that you do take things nice and slow, okay? Whoever I'm talking to here, um, you're needing to really pay attention to your surroundings, the things that surround you, and the people, No, but it's her turn. Okay, I'm getting like a handprint here. I'm getting like DNA, DNA access. Somebody could be doing something with your DNA or with your belongings. Tell Nova if she don't share that TV, I'm not going to have three TVs on. It's her turn. If you got a problem with that, you can lay down. You've been watching TV all this time. Excuse me, family. I really try not to yell in your ear because I know the, no, the mic is over. She's, she's saying it to you because you're not turning the TV. Well, you had the remote all this time. Girl, no, you just mad because you got to share the TV. Your turn is up. Anyway, these kids are going to get on my nerves today. I ain't going to let them, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close my door. Anyway, so we got healing energy. And I feel like something could be, I'm hearing DNA access. Somebody could be doing something with your DNA or they have. Okay, this could be something that's done in the past here. So I feel like somebody violated you. Like, somebody violated your rights in some kind of way. If this is not your DNA access, then somebody could have something that was very valuable to you. Um, this could also been like some type of exposure in some kind of way. I'm getting like somebody did something with somebody's semen. Somebody could have did something with somebody's semen. Planted evidence. Somebody did something with some type of semen here to plant some type of evidence on the um. And I just seen masculine energy, and I just seen occupation here at somebody's job or um to try to make somebody look bad at their job or something here, Aries. What the hell is this? Yeah, I'm hearing DNA evidence. So what they did was they couldn't get your fingerprints, so they took your DNA. Like, I mean, they took your semen. If you are a man here, they took your semen. If you are um, a woman, um, then this is happening to your person. Because I'm not getting, well... I don't think they could do it that way. Because I was finna say, y'all, you know how you have sex and you got that, ju that juice, juice, juice box 3000. <laughs> and you know how you have sex or whatever, right? And then they get like on the sheets or, but then it dries quick. I'm getting like, somebody could have had sex with a condom or something. Like maybe somebody said like, oh, let's have sex with a condom. They did something here to get somebody semen. Um to plant some type of evidence or to make them look bad at a job okay that's literally what i'm getting because i'm hearing dna evidence because at first it went to handprints fingerprints but somebody cannot get your handprints and fingerprints um unless there is some type of way they can get your fingerprints or hand you know while you sleep or something but i honestly feel i honestly doubt that i don't know how you do that unless you but i'm getting like this is like something needs dna access like I'm getting like a hand scan. For some of y'all, this do somebody got a phone where you got to scan your hand or something? That could possibly be a, a possibility. Somebody went inside your phone. But I was getting somebody, but that's for somebody then. Somebody stole somebody's DNA. Somebody stole somebody's semen, okay, to plant some type of DNA, though. It's like they needed... I'm hearing DNA at a crime scene. And you know, when they when they do DNA, they don't care what it can be spit, sweat, tears, blood, anything. So it's like any kind of DNA will do. As long as they're tracing and it come back to you. That's crazy than the motherfucker. Look, teaching and imprisonment. I'm telling you, I could never make it up. I could never make it up. For real. Like shit. High power with my ass making it up. I'm just gonna be honest, bro. You know what happens to people that do shit like that? And manipulate the word of God, girl. Bye. Anybody, you you play with the shit if you want to. Can't make that shit up. That's why somebody going to fuck the jail because what I'm saying or what other terrorists may be saying 
is teaching and is enlightening. Is enlightening somebody here. Somebody was doing some shit they had no business doing. And that's why grounding came out, Aries. Yes. Are you dealing with an Aries? But that's why grounding came out. And I feel like they was trying to do something to humiliate somebody. I don't even get like somebody was planning like a pregnancy. I'm getting like somebody was trying to plant like plot on somebody. I'm getting like a crime scene or some shit. We got expectations coming out. So I'm getting that something. Yeah, expectations. I feel like you know this. Maybe something came out in court. Maybe you know something already and you're expecting for somebody to be going to jail. Or you know for a fact the motherfucker is going to be going to jail after all you know what you know. For some of you guys, they try to frame you. Okay, you could definitely have an ongoing case going on right now, currently. Because something is very grounding here. I feel like this shit blew your mind when you figured it out. Like, damn, for some of y'all, they did do some type of something with a skin, a handprint, or a fingerprint. Because this is, this is like, um, I keep getting like a cell phone case. I'm hearing cell phone case. Did they pull a fingerprint off a cell phone case? Bro, who the fuck is this? Or is this, or is somebody like a detective or something? Somebody pulled a fingerprint off a cell phone case. Maybe that's what that is. And then look at the bottom. It's a hand again. But that's how the cards is on the bottom. But I'm getting like, maybe, maybe that's how somebody got caught. Okay? Maybe that's how somebody got caught. Because they put um, a fingerprint. They put a fingerprint off of something. Somebody was at the scene. So somebody fucked up. Wow. Look. Hang man, this shit has been enlightened. Look, three of wands, woo, baby, three of wands. So this probably not even coming up yet. This probably hasn't even happened yet. Somebody gonna pull, uh, pull something off a phone. A, um, I'm hearing a briefcase. It could be a phone, a briefcase, or a cell phone case. And I'm getting specifically the back of a cell phone case. Like somebody might. Use a fingerprint to unlock somebody's phone. That could be something. Somebody might pull a fingerprint off the of back of somebody's case. Or they're going to pull a fingerprint off of, like, the crime scene or whatever and find out that somebody was there. And not, as long as they know that that person was there, they know that that evidence was planted. Like, how the fuck was you there? What was you doing at the crime scene? You said you was across town at the nail shop. Somebody's a motherfucking liar, bro. This somebody that get their nails on. Girl, somebody from your past. I'm um, excuse me if you a man. I'm sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> excuse me if you a man, but I, I just always say girl, cause I don't know. I just always say. But somebody here, look, moving in the common waters, man. I'm telling you, like some something's gonna be illuminated here. Motherfucker gonna be like. How was you at the crime? Like, you had to do it. You had to plant some type of evidence. Like, how was you there when you said you were somewhere else? Yeah, look, there was a fight. There was a fight or altercation. Or there is a fight or altercation at work. Or about somebody's consistency, what they've been doing on the low. Or something here. Three of Wands again. What could you? Huh? Okay, you come tell me about a fly in the kitchen. Okay, booty. But I feel like, yeah, five of wands, there's an argument at work, or there could have been an argument, like, you know, something could have really broke out. Like, you know, somebody could have got fired here, or, uh, or it was an argument about some type of routine here. This could also be about you taking something nice and slow. Maybe this is why they planted this evidence or why they was doing whatever they was doing here. Somebody was trying to get somebody thrown in jail. Who we? And because you don't, you wasn't fucking with them like that. You wasn't messing with them like that, Aries. And they wanted to throw you in jail, though. They wanted to plant some type of evidence or see, or they want to trap you in some kind of way because this could definitely be with a baby. I'm here, incubator. Incubator. That's that's with them, um, you know, baby when they born prematurely, or uh, you know, or like health birth defects or some sort, they be in that incubator. Yeah, somebody definitely, they definitely did. They tried to try it, Aries. You could definitely be dealing with a Sagittarius here.
somebody is sick as fuck too i feel like somebody got cancer one of these people is sick as fuck or they got cancer here they still trying to fight or this could be you you could be sick or something you see she got that hair wrap on like her hair cut is she the only one wearing like white like a cloak it's giving me like doctor doctor's office i'm getting like somebody that's old though i'm getting like somebody that's old you know I don't know why I'm getting this is somebody mama. This is the mother of your baby mama or your baby father. They got something to do with this. Yeah. They throw unless they throwing shots behind the scene, you don't know about it. Baby mother or baby father. But um yeah. With the four pentacles. But we do got the emperor at the bottom of the deck and we got the ten of swords. So this could definitely be a father. But somebody is sick. They in their head because somebody coming towards somebody. Or somebody's rushing in. Somebody's doing something. Somebody's doing something quick and they need to do something. Oh, maybe they did this. Okay, because look, they're going to hang me again. More tea. They did this because they. You were doing something. You were healing yourself, right? You were healing yourself. And you were you were on a routine of healing yourself. So somebody here has to get you caught up, whether with a child or have you put in jail in some kind of way. And it was an argument about this, about you, whatever you doing, healing your energy, um, you know, doing something different. For some of you guys, you got into spirituality. And motherfuckers ain't like that, whether that was your father or your person's father, whatever the case may be, or uncle or brother or cousin, this is an older person here. But I was really getting that this is a woman. Take it however it resonates for some of you guys, okay? But this could definitely be two people. Shit, it was two people, you know? It could, it was about five, it's five people here. So it could be up to five people that had a hand in this. But I'm getting specifically like somebody didn't want you healing your energy or didn't want you to be... You know, they didn't like whatever you were doing to heal your energy. So they had to get you caught up in some type of jam. And with that five of swords I just seen, they had to think fast. So this was something like, oh, do this, do this, do that, do this real quick. You know, something like that. Yeah, a lot of information is going to be coming to you at this time. And, and during this little period of Venus retrograding, I feel like a lot of stuff is going to be illuminated to you at this time, Aries, man. You're going to be like, wow. Like, really? That's what it is? Or, because we went with that three of wands here, there's something that's coming up. So you could definitely be in the middle of something right now. And I feel like during this time, that's when a lot of information is going to be coming in. Girl, okay. Cause they ain't gotta never make it up. Somebody dealing with a Sagittarius, or you got Sagittarius in your chart. This Sagittarius, somebody think they know every motherfucking thing or something here. They think they know some. You can't tell them nothing. There's somebody that always question everything you say. You tell them some, and then they question you. Then they could come to you and ask you for advice, and you get them advice, and then they come no no. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Then don't take my advice. Then look, King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody, yeah, seven of pentacle investment, nine of cups, temperance. You could have tried to warn somebody. You could have tried to warn somebody about something, and they did not fucking listen to you. And it ain't even had nothing to do with just a relationship. This somebody who thought they knew everything. It was arrogant. Oh, no. Do, 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 do. Or this is you, Aries. I know what I'm talking about. They ain't doing that. They could never do that. They love me. My mom, my daddy, my mom, this, that, and that. My brother, sister, uncle, blah, blah, blah. Grandma, they love me. Shit. I ain't saying it like that, though, because, you know, we all got them little evil-ass family members. They ain't, do they ain't, they ain't, they are, they, okay? Because even if somebody, if you, even if you did try to warn somebody, or even if, there was some type of warning and somebody didn't listen to it, okay? Because somebody could have got a warning from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have to get a warning from you. They could have got a warning from somebody else. But either way it go, it's meant, okay? It is. It's meant. And I feel like this person, this King of Pentacles, wants to come and invest in you because whatever you were saying, 
hit on the head, okay? And I feel like they want to learn more about how you know what you know. And, you know, this justice, how can they get justice? They want to ask you questions and stuff. But I'm also getting um, Aries like, yeah, look, they coming. Somebody is coming. But also what I'm getting, though, is like things happen for a reason, okay? It, it, it's, it's multiple situations where, and it's sad to say, when you got mamas and daddies and people, you got daddies that's molesting their own kids and stuff, bro. Like, just being honest, bro, like, you got a lot of weird shit, evil, spiteful shit out here in the world. But it's only meant to stop the process, okay? Just keep moving forward, okay? Even if these people did betray you, whatever this is, the depths are what you're going to find out okay in the future here and just keep on moving forward if this is you Sagittarius look five of swords and I feel like you are in your head because you don't know exactly what's coming or this is somebody is this is somebody okay high priestess expectations Somebody could be in their head about the ex ex expectations about a high priestess or come are rushing in towards a high priestess. I feel like somebody doesn't not know what the future is going to bring for them. They could definitely be a little afraid. But somebody's moving fast, though. Or this is their mind is racing, like with thoughts. I'm also getting like anxiety here. They could be fearful. They also could fear you in a way. Maybe they're fearing you because of what you said or or how you, you may have helped them. Or um, or they could be a fearing spiritual, you know, terror readers or a spiritual advisors. I can't do no shoe right now. Don't put her on no boot. She ain't going nowhere. Don't come in here with that, Noel. I can't put on no down boot right now. Go put on a different shoe. I'm going to hide them. Go put on a different one. Them is too hard to put on anyway, and they're too hard to take off. And you change that doll outfit like every five seconds. All right, let's see. Yeah. Anything else, high point? We got the higher from here, and we got the five of cups. Yeah, somebody is in a lot of regret, man, because they learned some type of lesson here, or they will be. They ain't have regret because they, they, yeah, ten of cups here about a family, man. They learned, or this is you, Aries, you in your head about what you found out about this family deep down the truth. Okay, I'm hearing si si uh, si uh, sibling rivalry as well as what I heard. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing close to me, you like my sister. Close to me, you like my brother. And you are the only one, my everything. But some of y'all, you need to go check out that Gemini read. Okay, Aries, go check out that Gemini read. I was saying something about rivalry, three people being involved in something. But here we got about five people. So maybe it was some people that was behind the scenes. and it was So maybe you could have thought like, oh, yeah, I cut those people off that did that and that and that. But you're going to find out it's more motherfuckers behind the scene like that. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, Aries. And then, yeah, I feel like this could be your person or this is you or this is somebody here. Maybe you, somebody here is in this hierophant energy, though. They learned the lessons, okay? And I feel like the Five of Cups is like regret. They regret a lot of things. Or this is you. You regret a lot of things. And you understand your mind keep replaying the things that have taken place. You're trying to forget about it. Are you trying to move forward here? But it's just, it's, it's being illuminated here. You could definitely be getting an apology from a Sagittarius because of what they've done. This could definitely be a mother here. Okay? Or there's going to be somebody giving an apology to make things, to make things more balanced here. Okay, like I said, if somebody didn't, you know, take in the information that somebody was giving, somebody's going to be like, you know, I'm truly sorry because you were only trying to help me. Okay, and somebody could definitely be a weed smoker. All right, marijuana. That's significant for somebody here. But let's see, is that it, high Noel, get out of, go, go, go out of my room, please. Thank you. You're too loud. And then y'all got a, a whole house. Y'all got the whole house. Please go out. Thank you. Go.
You getting on my nerves with this dial. Okay, excuse me, family. I'm not going to keep turning off my camera because they wouldn't keep interrupting me. Yep, five of swords. There's going to be a confession with the moon here. Somebody's going to come confess this, and they're going to apologize because they see you moving in common waters. Now, for some of y'all, they want to apologize, and they just want to get, get you in your head and, and have you feeling all in some type of sympathy. I feel like this is to somebody that's coming, like somebody that's coming to confess something. This person here, they they want to get on your good side. They want to get on your good side, Aries. That's what that is. They want to get on your good side because a lot of shit is turning over for them, and they're gonna be caught because they want to save themselves from judgment. It's like once you know, and then it's like once because it's like coming to confess before you find some shit out, and then when you find it out. You know, it's like, well, I came and confessed already, whatever, 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 but then they want you to have sympathy for them so that they can't necessarily get the uh, necessary punishment that they're supposed to get. Don't get in the way of nobody getting their justice. Let them get their justice, okay? Let them apologize and go on out their way, okay? But that's all I have for you, Aries. Um, if this video resonated or helped you in any kind of way, definitely hit that like button. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love you guys, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Send in love and light. Till next time, family. Peace, love, and prosperity. Mwah. Bye. Leo. Hey, Leo family. Welcome back. Let's stage our space, and let's see what's the energy from my Leos. Okay. Higher power, archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses of the divine white life. Please protect me and my Leo family as we dip into this week. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom. Always and forever, higher power, archangels, ancestors of the divine white life. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation. Guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Give me one second, family. I'll write this down. I'm here at clairvoyancy, and I'm also here on by life. I pray for someone like you. And I thank God that I, that I finally found you. Okay, Leo. So let's see what's the energy for my Leo family at this time. Hey, Nova, can you go give me, give me this card right here? What do my Leo family need to know at this time, higher power? What's the energy? Can you please help Noel with that doll? Whatever she's trying to do. Tell her if she not watching TV, then you finna go watch the TV. Because that's what she was crying about at first. What's the energy? We got distance horizon. I'm hearing a leave of absence. Somebody could definitely took some type of leave of absence. Getting away, getting outdoors, getting into um, nature. Or you could definitely be on some type of leave of absence here. Maybe you're not working a regular 9 to 5 at this time. But we got a message, okay? Message. I feel like somebody could be saying something, and it could definitely have been read. Like, Leo, you could be saying something, right? And it could have definitely been resonating, or it definitely was hitting on top of the head. Somebody could have thought you were cuckoo. Somebody could be if it thought you were on drugs. They thought you were a psycho loony band. Like, what, what is she talking about? What is they talking about? They crazy. Okay, I feel like somebody going to get a message of concern. Are you going to get a message here about the, from this person here? But some of y'all, you going to get some damn money, okay? You going to get some money about what you saying. Somebody want to pay you because you didn't help them. We got 11-11 and 22. I feel like that go hand in hand. This sudden wealth here is going to help you. And this 22, this this official person going to balance things out here. I feel like you're going to get the notoriety that you deserve here about what you've been saying and who you are. 
I feel like it's going to also be illuminated to somebody or somebody's that thought you were fucking cuckoo. It's like you helping solve a case or some shit and you get some type of reward. Like, you don't even know this is happening. Oh, we Leo. You don't even know this is happening. You're going to get a knock at the door and some people, some some police officers going to come talk to you. Or somebody gonna come talk to you or give you some type of message of concern, like, you know, they could, I feel like somebody gonna think that you were involved at first, because they're gonna be like, how does Leo know all of this or something like that? But after reviewing all the evidence and everything, they're gonna be like, Leo could not have been there. They had to have, you know, it's like a motherfucker looking at you like, you know how, okay. Because I was just getting something about some, um, Something in that Aries uh, read about like a case or, or or something like that. But what I'm getting is, you know how they got cameras and stuff at like gas stations, stores, and you know, things like that. Um, I'm getting like somebody here could definitely have framed you or like you helping solve some type of case, right? You're going to be some type of footage or document, some type of documents that's going to show your exact location, where you were, what, what was going on, and what happened when something happened. It's like, ain't no way Leo could have been there. So it's like, how did you know this shit was going to happen? Mm-hmm. We got bad hells coming out. Somebody stressed the fuck out because they finna go to jail. Because you saying, what the fuck is going on here, Leo? You saying it or it's been illuminated to you. I feel like you saying it, you could have, look, I just seen ancient wisdom. Your ancestors is helping you through this right now. We got scarred space and we got past, present. So we got past, present, future. So this could definitely, something resonates with you because you could have went through some type of similar experience here. Somebody could be like a tarot reader or a prophetess, okay? Will you give some type of knowledge? Yeah, go ahead. Um, and then Noel, if you're not watching that TV, she gonna go watch it because you are you cried all about that TV. Yeah, changes are happening. It's definitely changes in the wind at this time for you, Leo. Um, mm-hmm. Somebody they stressed out. Somebody show Liz stressed out. They know they had no business doing whatever the fuck they're doing, but because of you and see that's the thing, and that's why you are in the middle of this, Leo. Because somebody did something in the dark, or there could have been multiple people that was doing something in the dark. This could have been to you, or this could have been to somebody else. They did not think this shit was ever going to be illuminated. I'm hearing I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. It could be up to four people that has given you confirmation about a specific um, situation. Or, or was it four of them or five? It was uh, Scooby, Shaggy, Daphne, Delma. How many was it? The two girls and the two boys. All right, for it was because Scooby, Scooby Doo, he he, we gonna count him too. So it could definitely be it could be four or five, or maybe somebody got a dog or something. Okay, but anyways, um, it, it's somebody, it's some something's being illuminated. Okay, it doesn't even matter. This could be your favorite spiritualist or your favorite tarot readers, or this could be four different. Something could be significant coming to you in fours. It's, I'm getting like a some some type of balancement here. Fourth of July or something with the number four. Four 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 could be significant, and that's crazy because look at the bottom. We got forty four home. Okay, so something's resonating with home. Maybe you feel like home with somebody here. Maybe you feel like an alien because I'm getting like ET from home. You could definitely feel weird around other people, or you feel like you don't belong. Okay, that's because you don't belong. You never did belong here. You belong here. Somebody's meant to teach or somebody's meant to do something here. It's abundance behind this as well. Something's been illuminated. And I feel like whatever you are going through in your specific situation here, it would definitely help somebody else in their situation. It's like a chain of effect here. No matter when you may have went through the situation, just like somebody that could be helping you, they could have went through something similar. And because they know or they're able to help you in some kind of way, um, I don't know. Or like this could be you. Somebody you're helping somebody and they want to pay you some money. 
okay? But I'm getting like something is definitely being illuminated here, okay? I'm also getting prosperity, sudden wealth, okay? Yeah, great fortune. That is sudden wealth. And I heard sudden wealth, but I'm looking at the 777 here. You could be seven, seeing 777, but that is so crazy because look at the top of that card. Message is the number seven. That's what's going to bring in your money right there. That message. I'm telling you, somebody going to get a knock at the door. You're going to get an email, a phone call. You're going to get something. Like, you didn't solve the case. You're going to be like, what? I'm getting like a cold case, too. Something that could have happened a while ago. You're like, dang. You know what I'm saying? Are you help solve a case and something here? For some of y'all, you is this damn official. Somebody going to, you're going to get a reward, and you're going to also get an opportunity to work, to get some type of job, some type of money here. Because you solved the case. Now, for some of y'all, you solved the case about somebody being in bad health. Somebody could have been poisoned. Or there could have been a murder here. And somebody going to jail. Or this is this person that's in their head about going to jail. They could be stressed the hell out. Or they could be sick. That's part of their karma. What else here for my leo discernment look i'm telling you discernment your discernment is on 10 here your your abilities are heightened at this time okay but we got scarred space so this is giving me i'm here all i see is raindrops falling from the rooftop oh baby tell me why you had to go and this pain i feel just won't go away and today, I'm officially missing you. Look at that. Look, let me show y'all what I'm getting. Look at that right there. Somebody is in this scarred space, right? Somebody is in this scarred space, okay? Because of a, a relationship, a marriage, some type of commitment. Whether this was a relationship or a marriage that you found out about behind your back, Leo, okay? We got reunion of souls here. So I feel like somebody is connecting in with their inner self here, okay? This could also be connecting with a soulmate here. But I feel like somebody's in some type of scar. Like, this is, this, there's triggers surrounding a specific marriage or um, a situation here. And with this pull of labor... I feel like somebody's having to pay something back, okay? Or maybe this is paying back for some type of giving and receiving. Like, I'm getting like, you could have definitely been in a situation here where you were working and was not getting paid or something was being stolen from you. Um, you were, weren't, were not receiving what you should have. This could definitely be in marriage, okay? Um, like, and you might be like, well, how is considered a marriage? Because sometimes, you know, love is, is sacred. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? People, true, genuine love. Unconditional, no cheating. Me and you, forever. You know what I'm saying? That's hard for people. Like, some people, and that's not always hard. Okay, people make it hard. But not everybody finds love is what I'm getting. You could have everything but love. And maybe that is what was supposed to be yours you are supposed to be you could definitely be somebody who you want to be married you want to be happy you want to be this you want to be that you could have everything but a marriage or relationship or something here and for some of you guys it was held back from you on purpose okay because of your spiritual gifts or who you were okay you know i'm getting like somebody's a fucking hater that's still that's concern okay 30 numbers 33 grounding unexpected income so somebody here is in some type of concern about some type of change okay nova can you come give me this card real quick somebody is in their head because you teaching and you saying something i feel like it's a divine feminine or there's multiple divine feminines that's teaching and saying something about a pacific motherfucking situation you got to bend all the way down about a pacific situation here and I feel like it's definitely grounding and it's helping people grow or a specific person like you. It could be, you could be looking at four different females. You could be a female, okay? Okay, now just turn around and crawl back through. Okay, thank you. But I'm getting like, um, 
somebody here is in some type of concern about what you're saying. And look, it's an older man. And it's the same damn man. This is the same man, y'all. Look at this. And I never even paid attention to this before. That's the same man. Somebody's on a deathbed or something here. And it's because we got 33 and 31. I feel like some ain't adding up. Some ain't adding up. Somebody re reviewing or doing their research and they like, no, it ain't add up. Some ain't adding up. Somebody could be in concern about this man or this man is in concern here about what you're saying, what you're doing, or something that's been illuminated with some type of teaching. All right, this could be a woman with masculine energy. Take it however it resonates. But what is this here? I'm hearing page of cups. Apology. Who? Somebody finna get somebody an apology. They finna give you an apology, Leo. They want to apologize to you. Yeah, go check out that Aries read. This could definitely have something to do with that person. They want to apologize because they want to. Uh, you're going to have to go check out the Aries read. But I feel like somebody is walking away. Eight of Cups, somebody is walking away or have walked away from something. Something was a hard decision here with the two of swords here. And we also got the King of Wands. Somebody was in like some type of, somebody finds somebody to be attractive or, you know, they like them for sexual favors. Or this is how they feel for you. They they rather they were with somebody for sexual favors, or they find you very attractive. Okay, they could definitely be messing messaging you. Okay, wanted to talk to you. Okay, with the moon here. Yeah, I feel like you don't see this coming, but you're getting a realization about it. Um, or you're having you. I'm here epiphany. Okay, so you could definitely be having downloads, dreams, or something here. But something was a hard decision for somebody to face. To walk away, to walk away, or to because it's getting like somebody walking away. Because what I get from Eight of Cups is walking away but going to. So you could be. It depends on which side you on. You could be walking away or you could be going to. You know what I'm saying? What else is this here? What's this Two of Swords? There could have definitely had been some type of confusion. Or some type of illumination, I'm like, um, not illumination, but something could definitely be, uh, something is definitely being illuminated. Maybe there was some purpose confusion, or there was two choices, is what I'm getting. And somebody was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Maybe you're indecisive about walking away. Maybe somebody hasn't walked away yet. Because we got justice here. This is somebody's justice. Somebody needs to walk away from whatever this is. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Power. Gifts. I'm getting like, there's a Queen of Swords here. Somebody that could be um, discerning. This could definitely be you. Okay, you could be out in the cold here. There's going to be some changes for you. And I feel like you could have had a dream about it. Um, something's going to happen for you real big, Leo. Okay, it's going to bring in this power moment. It's going to really shake things up for you. A lot of changes. This is a gift. And we, I, I'm telling y'all, y'all finna get some money for something that you were doing here. This is a gift. Somebody's like, thank you so much, Leo. You helped me. Yeah, because of a ten of swords. And an opportunity. Literally. Because of a ten of swords, somebody tried to murder somebody. Okay, this is a murder. There was a murder. Ooh, somebody gonna offer you a job. Like, can you come work for me? Or can you help me? Somebody got enough money to just put you on a payroll or something. Like, if this is like one person, they just want to pay you. They could definitely want to pay you. But I'm getting like that. That could be one thing. I feel like whether this has come from one person, right? Paying you, um, no, because you could be this official person. So for some of you, you are this official person, right? And somebody just going to give you some money. For some of y'all, they're going to give you money. I'm hearing an allowance. Ooh. 
an allowance. Okay. I ain't get like I ain't I ain't hear paycheck. I heard an allowance. So for Ooh, I'm hearing spoiled brat. Somebody get a little Pisces. That sounds like that Pisces read I did. Go check out that water reading. That sounds like that damn Pisces reading I did. I said, where well, you gonna get some money and you're gonna be a spoiled brat or somebody gonna be spoiling the fuck out of you. Okay. Mm, look. Mm-hmm. Those chakra blockers just being illuminated, baby. I feel like now. You also gonna get a job here. Girl, I'm hearing a detective agency. For some of you guys, somebody is like a private, uh, I'm hearing private eye, do, do, we're watching you. Somebody could have hired a private detective. Oh, girl, somebody wanna, I'm telling you, somebody wanna not only put you on their payroll, but they wanna put you on a pedestal too. Cause they gonna find you attractive. Okay, this could this probably this probably not even somebody you know. For some of y'all, this you don't even know this damn person. Five of Swords. Let me see. High price didn't go over here because we still on this. Five of Swords in the reverse. Mm-hmm. For helping them come out their head. For helping them figure some shit out. Yeah, they love you for that. They love you for having their back. They love you. It's like I'm also getting like a catfish energy. Was somebody trying to catfish somebody, Leo? Because I'm getting like, somebody could have pretended to try to be you. Maybe that was the confusion between two choices here. Because I'm getting like, somebody could have definitely been trying to help this person or act like they were, you know, quotation marks, act like they were helping. And they were leading somebody in the wrong path. This could be purposely or accidentally. They probably just didn't know what the fuck they were talking to or talking about. And... And I feel like they um they were paying this person, okay? Because they were trying to find out something here. Or they was trying to look into something. Or this is you. You were trying to look into something. But I'm getting like somebody was having a hard decision walking away, but I feel like they are. They walking away from some, something. Somebody was walking away because they couldn't decide something. So some of you guys, they thought that this person that they they could have been in a relationship with somebody that act like, I don't know, this person could have been stealing information from you, Leo, and telling it to this damn person. I feel like when they find out who the real, I'm hearing the real, um, the who the authentic person is. I'm here. All hell gonna break loose. Somebody's going to jail for perjury as well because they've been stealing something from you. They've been reading or following up on your shit, going back telling this person. But I feel like this person will start like something happened to where this person, um, whether they told them a lie or something got something was sloppy here. I don't know if they told them a lie, Leo. Or if they, um, because this could definitely have been on purpose, telling them lies on purpose. There could have been some truth behind it, but then they were telling lies as well. But I'm also getting like somebody was doing, you know, maybe, I don't know. They couldn't keep track or something here. Or maybe somebody sat right in front of somebody and was like, hey, well, read these cards for me. What they say? And the mother, like, they like, uh, uh, duh, the big dog, uh, um, um. They don't know. They don't know what the fuck they saying or something like that. Like, somebody going to get caught up. Yeah, and I feel like that's when this official person, they're going to go searching for the real person who's been telling them this. Or, for like I said, for some of you guys, they know who you are already. They could definitely, this could be somebody that know of you some kind of way. What is discernment here? I feel like either way it goes, you're going to get your justice here. I'm also hearing something about a resort. Somebody feels like you're close to them. Like, they could definitely consider you as a best friend. And I feel like you haven't even met this person for some of you. This person, like, you could be somebody, if you are a tarot reader or a spiritualist or somebody, you put your face on the camera. Because this person is, like, Google-eyeing you. Okay? They they could have hired private detectives to find out um, who the real person is. And on top of that, they found out a whole bunch of other information. But two of wands, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna need your discernment, um, making some type of decision here, Leo. You could definitely be dealing with a Gemini. 
We got the Ten of Swords. This could be because of an ending or this could be because of a harsh ending or a two, uh, a, uh, making a choice about a harsh ending here. That's probably what I was getting over here, okay? Somebody is having a hard time walking away from something. Let me see. What is this here? What's the Ten of Swords? Oh, somebody's coming towards you. And you're going to have to use your discernment when it comes to this person now. Okay, balance, judgment. Somebody is facing judgment because of juggling, okay? They're facing judgment because of juggling, okay? So you are definitely needing to be in this queen, queen, ooh, king of swords, queen of swords energy when it comes to this person here. They are definitely in regret. That was the five of cups. It fell. Okay, all right, I'm going to get it later. But somebody is definitely in some type of regretful energy. There could definitely have been a death here. And it's also what I'm getting here. Okay. Or this death could be an ending. Maybe this person ended things out abruptly or ended things out very harshly with you. Things did not end well. Okay, this person could be coming back to make an apology or an offer. Now, for some of you guys, this is in the past. You dealt with a harsh ending of some sort here. And it's time for you to make some type of judgment call or use your discernment towards somebody that's going to come towards you being romantic and it's very flirty energy. Yep, Ace of Wands. Now, for some of you, somebody, your ex or somebody is facing judgment here with an ending or with a death. Or they already face judgment if this is somebody that's coming back here from the past. Give me something on this Knight of Cups. Yeah, everything's okay. This is somebody that's acting like everything's okay all around them, but all in reality, they're not. They missing you like crazy if this is an ex. Yep, 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 yep. This person's coming towards you. But we got the seven of, they see you as an option. They see you as the the option, okay? Not an option, but as the option, okay? I'm here. I see you in my dreams. Baby boy, not a day go by without my fantasy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this person's determined. I think about you all the time. I see you in my dreams. This is balance, though. They could have dealt with some drama, or you dealt with some drama here, but this is balance. Now, you being in a relationship with this person, yeah, they're in this higher for energy, but high power saying, like, this this is up to you, really. Somebody like Popeyes or something. This is up to you, really, though. Yeah, somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But this could definitely be up to you um, if you want to go, go ahead with this. That's why you need to use your discernment. This person did deal with some type of ending. Okay, they did deal with some type of karma. Okay, they did deal with judgment. They definitely could be in judgment right now, honestly, about that judgment coming out. They didn't come out in the reverse. So somebody could definitely be in judgment right now. What is this concern here for my Leo family? What is concern here for my Leo family? Yep, having strength and rebuilding here. So you're you're in this you're concerned about this. How or when is something gonna happen? You're need to have strength. It's time to rebuild. Three of Pentacles. Oh, are you concerned about something at work? Something with work? Or somebody working? Nine of Swords. Something you've seen in a dream. Or something that got you in your head about a king of swords. It's the moon. You could be in your head about working with um a king of swords. Oh. Oh, that's my mom. I had to work her back. Um call work her back. What? Hold on. I said I'm gonna have to work her back. Y'all, what is this? <laughs> I said, I'm going to have to work her back. <laughs> I tried to say, I'm going to have to call her back. This is somebody, I'm hearing, my, 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 I'm hearing like, but it's part of a song, though. 
girl, it's some song my brother be listening to. It's like a, it's like a, it's a popular song. I just can't hear. I just can't. I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but I'm getting like somebody is gonna try to break your back. I don't know. Somebody got some sexual energy towards you, Leo, or this is how you feel. Look with the moon. Maybe you in your head about working with somebody that you're gonna be in a relationship with, or maybe somebody's in it working in a head about working with somebody. Like you could be, you could definitely be this king of swords here in your head about working with somebody, right? About working in a relationship. Um, but I'm getting for you. This could definitely be a feminine here. You could be in your head or in some type of fear. All right, you. This could definitely be something good here. No, it's not good because the strength is here. You need to have strength. You're in concern, but some of y'all it is something good here. Like I feel like. This person is going to reassure you like everything is going to be okay. For some of y'all, they want you to assist them in some kind of way. Maybe you like, I don't want to be no, I'm going to work a job and be with somebody at the same time or something. That's where that, I'm going to have to work her back. Oh, my word. <laughs> Ooh, look. <laughs> Night of swords, they trying to rush in. Somebody trying to come towards you. We got the two of pentacles, but they also juggling. They're juggling a marriage here, and they're inspired by the lovers. They want to marry you. So for some of y'all, they're going to come in, and they're going to offer you a position, a job or something here. This is an ex. If this is an ex, they're going to come in. They're going to offer you a job, and they're curious because they're juggling. They really want to marry you, but they want to get this out the way first, right? So they're gonna they're gonna stick to the you know stick to the codes and the regulations. Now that's what they could be in their head about. Like how is it gonna work us working together? And or they could have dealt with something like that in the past. Work and in, in a relationship with somebody did not work out right. It did not go good. Okay, so that could definitely be what somebody's in their head about. They need to have strength here. But I feel like. Somebody, somebody is going to not, for some of y'all, y'all don't need, like I said, you don't even know who this person is. And they're going to come in and offer you a job, give you some type of payment. I heard, next thing I know, we was laying on an island. I froze my neck like winter. I'm rich like I'm a Jenner. Oh, my word. I'm done with y'all. I'm done with y'all, Leo. I am done with y'all. Mm-hmm. I am done with y'all. I am done with y'all. For some of you, you were just going to choose to work with somebody. You're not going to be in a relationship with somebody. Yeah, queen of pentacles. For some of y'all, it, it is. It's going to be a work a relation where you guys work together. And, um, you know, you guys are going to be married. You guys are going to be work together. You're going to have a family together. Yeah. But we got rejection here. What's that? Somebody could have rejected uh, a queen of swords because of something that was illuminated. Okay. They could be rejecting a gift from a queen of swords because something is being illuminated as well. Okay. Is what I'm getting here. But that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl, High Priestess, Amar. And I will definitely catch you in the next one. Send it up a life, family. If the video resonates with you, definitely hit that like button. Hit that share, that subscribe button if you haven't already. And definitely hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love you guys, and I will definitely catch you in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity, family. Mwah! Bye.